beat this in New York Red Bulls, Julian Lewis. 15 years old. He has his whole life ahead of him. He's got a bright future. The leading scorer in the nation. The starter on the USU 15 national team. And you see why. Have a day, Julian Hall. What a terrific individual. Is that, is that, is that, is that guy now? Thank you. Good. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good to see you. Nice to see Hi. You. I'm good. How are you? Good to see you. We got a nice little setup right here. TV. Monitor right here. Got, Got the school stuff. school stuff. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. I mean, I got a bed right here. Oh, it pulls out? Yeah. Oh, yeah okay. So it's like, yeah, it's like that. I can't pull it all the way out right now, but like, yeah. really? Yeah. That's sick. Stuff over here too. Yeah, it's great. The balcony, the terrace. Nice view. Extra, extra snacks out here, you know. And mini fridge. Yeah, it's chill. It's nice. It's a elementary school I used to go to, so not too far of a walk. But yeah, that's basically my room and everything. I used to come here too for like homework after elementary school. But it's a chill spot. And then the fields like around the corner over there. But like. I like, I like stored them like somewhere in the middle of nowhere, like in my room. But I used to read so much, but I just stopped reading for some reason. I used to come here, I came here all my life really, but during COVID there wasn't much to do. So, I mean, I came here really every single day. Yeah, this is the field. Uh, I still come here to this day, but uh, came here every single day. My mom, my brother, she was like out here recording videos of me, but yeah, it's like, it's a good, it's a good place with a lot of memories. Yeah, yeah. Like everyone that lives like around here comes and plays here. Schools in New York are big, but the middle schools are like, at least where I went and a couple other, they're like crammed into like a building. It's like, it's terrible. My other school, I went on 108th. It's, it's not a bad walk, but uh, if I was to, to want to go quicker, I just take the bus right here. Um, that's it though, like take the bus all the way up. And it's, it's like a five minute bus ride. Awesome. Side parts, <laughs> absolutely terrible. Every single time I would come and get a cut, it was here. It was, oh my God. I used to come here and then to one next to my old school. Delis are fire, they always have everything like you need. The train's here, so. So, I mean, if my mom can't take me, I gotta take the train all the way downtown, then to Jersey, and then like either a ride or an Uber to the facility. And that's like around a two hour, two hour ride. So it's a bit hard sometimes because you gotta wake up at like 5.30 or something like that. And it's kind of wild, but I wake up at 5.30 and it takes me like half an hour to get ready. And then to get to training at 8.30, I kind of have to leave at like 6 to get there early, so. It's either my mom or I just stay over at a friend's house, like Tanner or my another kid, Aiden Jarvis. Like, he's on the second team too, so I either stay at his house. Besides Jill? Besides Jill, probably Jalen and Tanner, probably. Really? I mean, yeah, because we can't, we spent a lot of time together during the summer, because we were traveling every every single place together. This so past summer? this past summer, yeah, he's been, he was my roommate for like two months. Well, in DR, we just chose to stay together, like in the same room. But after that, we stayed in uh, Austria, because we went to oh, we had a yeah yeah we had a tournament there, and then we stayed an extra week to train with Salzburg, so. We were roommates like for two extra weeks. It was like it was kind of similar to over here, to be honest. Yeah, but it was definitely a good competition in the tournament. I was just tired. Like I just want to go home. What's going on? <laughs> it's pretty access. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Okay, okay. All right, I'll call you back. All right. Okay, okay, I promise. Let's cross right here. It was, it was definitely like quick, cause after I started training with the second team after GA Cup, it was only really like that. Like every day I would go to second team and come home. Like, and especially during the summer, I didn't really have time to have a summer cause we were like traveling everywhere. It definitely hit me fast, but I think I adjusted pretty well. Like it hasn't been like crazy stressful. Cause I know it like, it can impact like a lot of people oh, yeah. in that way. I'm just trying to be, be like chill, like not too crazy. I used to come here, Manhattan Kickers. I was around seven, 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 eight years old when I joined. I mean, I came here almost every day, every single week. And I made, I made a lot of friends here when I was younger. And I mean, it kind of built me to who I am today because this is just a place that I call home. So, yeah, it's definitely an important, an important place and has a significant place in my heart. No, but we went. You see, you see that building or that big net uh, all the way so down the path there? That goes all the way over there. All the way down there. Well, this path goes like all the way uptown. Like it goes oh, all the way downtown. Oh, yeah, this is the water right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So. Everything like down this line and down there is like piers on every single like corner. Cause it's a big like field. They play baseball. But uh, right here is the field. Crazy. I don't even know what to call it. They've been doing that for years. I swear to God. This is the field. We used to practice on, they still practice here to this day. So, I mean, it's just, it's a very memorable field. Yeah. Came here every every single week. Um, and it was sad when I had to leave. So it's a nice spot. I would definitely recommend coming here. What was really important and useful for myself to get here, I think it wasn't really a thing. It was like somebody, my mom, I think she was a, a great influence on, I mean, who I who, who I became today, um, not just as a player, but as a person. I mean, she kind of gave me all the opportunities and um, e everything in terms of going to Red Bull and my development. So I think all of that kind of led to who I am today. But also, I mean, the coaching staff and my teammates, they all, you know, Im impacted my future and the reason I, I'm sitting here right now. So all of that come to, comes together and all the people that have helped me, um, it, it led to this point, so yeah. How do you keep a level head with all the attention on social media, the attention from all the people, the fans, everyone? Um, I just try to stay as like relaxed, as chill as possible. I usually, I only engage in it if it's something positive, you know? But I mean, even at that, I like, I just try to, stay calm, not really get too involved in it. So I just think it's more important to want more attention from the people closest to you and they know it's only something to help you. I try to revolve and stay around that more than everything on social media, but I feel like all the support on social media is great as well. Like it's not, it's not always a bad thing, so. Like, they don't really, like, New York doesn't really put a lot of effort up here to, like, build stuff, kind of. Because this is where a lot of, like, the projects and stuff are. Right. Yeah. Last time I was here, it wasn't maybe, like, six months ago. One of my close, like, uh, family friends lives here. She lived, like, right across the, like, our doors were like this. Oh, really? Yeah. So, and she's, like, older, so she kind of, like, took care of me when my mom couldn't. Uh... So she was, like... She was basically like my grandmother or like aunt. So she's like really like close with the family. This is the building I used to live in. I mean, I was born here in Harlem. So this is kind of where my identity was. Lived here just with my mom, me and my mom. And uh, left like 
seven years later, and uh, but yeah, this is where where it all started. We got the the playground over there. We used to come over here after school. It's definitely a great community, you know. Everybody knows everybody, so it was just it was just a nice place to live. Yeah, it was nice. Favorite memory? I'm gonna have to say I remember coming to the playground here. Um, with one of my close friends, Trevor, he lives right around the corner, but we used to come to the playground here all the time, you know, just have fun. Both of our families were really close, so him coming here, coming over to my apartment, it was just, and the, there's a YMCA right around the corner, and we used to go there all the time. So, honestly, just being around here in the playground, the YMCA, uh, and being with my boy Trevor, it was, it was great. It was great memories there. Candied yams, oh my god. They got chicken and waffles too. Can I get the oven baked half chicken? Okay, you get some uh, Can I get the mac and cheese and candied yams? Okay, you want anything to drink? Uh, I'll take a lemonade please. I've been going to a lot of football games in Jersey. Really? High school football? Oh, oh you've been going to high school football? That's where it's at, bro. I'm telling you. Yo, that's funny. Bro. That's where it's at. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, get the mac and cheese first. You know what I'm saying? You got everything? How's everything going there? So good, bro. The stuff up there, like the roof on the left side, like up there, with the fence, that's my elementary, like, before I moved, that was my school in like kindergarten and first grade. So nice. What when we first moved, I thought we were moving into there. I was like, oh my I was like, oh my god. Thank you guys for joining me today and getting insight on my journey thus far.